motionlessness is a way of thinking that shows the improvement of restraint and metal for of beating disastrous feelings. It underscores the significance of acknowledgement of what can't be changed and keeping a quiet and level-headed mentality, even with misfortune. Stoics have confidence in zeroing in on what is inside one's control, rehearsing prudence and living as per nature. They advocate for living right now and developing inward peacefulness through separation from outside conditions. Emotionlessness, an old Greek way of thinking established by Zeno of Citium around 300 BCE, offers an immortal way to deal with carrying on with a satisfying life in the midst of the disarray of the world. Established in the conviction that righteousness is the way to satisfaction, aloofness shows people how to develop strength, serenity, and internal harmony, paying little mind to outer conditions. The designer of apathy Zeno of Citium, Zeno of Citium, a logician from Cyprus, is credited as the organizer behind emotionlessness. He started showing his way of thinking in Athens around 300 BCE, where his devotees accumulated at the Stoa Poikila, a painted patio leading to the name emotionlessness. Zeno's lessons underlined the significance of living as per nature, developing ethics like insight, boldness, equity, restraint and keeping up with aloofness to outside occasions unchangeable as far as one might be concerned. The clouded side of aloofness. While emotionlessness offers important bits of knowledge into finding serenity and internal harmony, pundits contend that its accentuation on close to home separation and concealment might prompt profound constraint or an absence of sympathy. Aloofness emphasis on persevering through agony and enduring without grievance can in some cases be confounded as upholding for resignation, notwithstanding shamefulness or difficulty. Besides, a few pundits propose that emotionlessness accentuation on independence and individual excellence might disregard the significance of social associations and local area support in accomplishing prosperity. Why individuals reprimand apathy, pundits of emotionlessness frequently highlight its apparent indifference with regards to feelings, its capability to encourage lack of concern, and its dismissal of outside products as wellsprings of satisfaction. Also, a few contend that emotionlessness accentuation on acknowledgement of destiny and occasions outside of one's reach might subvert endeavors to address social treacheries or foundational issues. Moreover, aloofness attention on private excellence and personal development might be viewed as individualistic dismissing the more extensive cultural setting where people reside. The most effective method to be emotionless, like aloofness to epitomize apathy in day-to-day -day existence, people can embrace a few key practices. Rule 1. Center around uprightness. Develop ethics like insight, fortitude, equity and balance in your viewpoints and activities. Rule 2. Acknowledgement of the current second. Embrace the current second and acknowledge things as they are, zeroing in on what is inside your control. Rule 3. Practice strength, foster versatility even with misfortune, by re-evaluating difficulties as any open doors for development and learning. Rule 4. Keep up with poise. Take a stab at close to home equilibrium and serenity, perceiving that outside occasions are unchangeable as far as you might be concerned. Four primary thoughts of apathy. Prudence as the most noteworthy great. Emotionlessness instructs that ideals or moral greatness is the way into a satisfying life, and it ought to be sought after for the well-being of its own. 1. The division of control. Apathy recognizes things inside our control, our considerations, activities and values, and things beyond our reach, outside occasions, others' activities, stressing the significance of zeroing in just on what we have some control over. 2. The temporariness of outer merchandise. Emotionlessness instructs that outside products like abundance, popularity or status are momentary and at last unimportant to genuine satisfaction. All things considered, inward characteristics, for example, temperance and character are more significant. 3. Living as per nature. Emotionlessness urges people to live as one with nature, adjusting their activities and wants to the normal request of the universe. 4. Three ethics of aloofness. Uprightness. Take a stab at moral greatness and develop ethics like insight, fortitude, equity and restraint. 5. Flexibility. Foster versatility even with misfortune, perceiving that difficulties are open doors for development and learning. 6. Serenity. 
keep up with close to home equilibrium and quietness by tolerating the current second and embracing things as they are. Taking everything into account, aloofness offers ageless insight on the most proficient method to explore the intricacies of existence with versatility, excellence and inward harmony. While pundits might raise legitimate worries about its possible downsides, the center standards of emotionlessness stay significant aids for carrying on with a satisfying and significant life. If you like these informational videos, don't forget to click the subscribe, like and share buttons. Hopefully it can add insight to all of us in understanding life for the better. Thank you for listening. See you in the next video.